Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can schedule our notebook in Microsoft Fabric. So as part of our whole Microsoft Fabric playlist, I have been creating multiple videos and I do recommend watching all these videos sequentially in order to understand and as well as do hands on in Microsoft Fabric. So let's move ahead. But before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn as well as on Instagram. And I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So let's move ahead and we are going to go to our Microsoft Fabric workspace, the one which we have created. So right now, if you see, this is the workspace that we were working on. This was the notebook that we were working on as well. So we want to schedule the notebook, but even before scheduling the notebook, I would like to mention one point over here, which I forgot in my previous video. So I will cover that point as well. So let's say you have a data frame. Uh, for example, let me take this particular data frame, right? So this is a list and let me just simply run the cell. So the moment I run the cell, you will see that I have created a data frame, right? Which is nothing but spark dot create data frame. Right. And this is the data frame that I'm creating and I'm just displaying the data frame as well. So now we have already seen that how we can store the data frame as a table. Now, this is the data frame that we have. And in the previous video, we have seen that how we can store the data frame in the Delta table. We have seen that part already. But in this particular video, I wanted to just cover one more point on how to store these as a file as well. So this is a data frame. I can simply say DF dot write dot let's say I want to store it in a JSON format I can simply say JSON and then I can simply say basically I have to provide the path where I want to load the data so let's say I want to load it to the files over here I can simply say copy relative path for spark and here inside the double quotations I can simply paste the path and I, I also need to mention the name of the file that I want to store I can simply say test dot JSON and then if I want to mention, you know, any kind of mode, right, I can simply say my mode is equal to I can simply say overwrite, it will overwrite the existing data uh, in case the file is already present. So I can simply run this command as well. And what this will do is, if you guys see, this is going to write the data into this files. So now if I go to the files section over here, earlier customers.csv and sales.csv was present. Now, if I refresh it, you will also see a test test JSON is present. Now, same thing you can do with the parquet as well. I can simply call it at that. I want to store it as a parquet format. And again, here I can also say parquet and then again, I can run this. So again, you will see a new parquet file gets stored. Now, just simply refresh. Let me refresh it. So you can see test.json, test.parquet got stored over here. So in the similar way, whichever format you want to store the file, you can actually go ahead and store the file as well. So now let's move ahead and talk about the scheduling part. So in case of scheduling, if you go to the settings option over here, you will see that there is an option of schedule, right? You can provide a description for the notebook in the about section and the name of the notebook is over here already. If you go to the schedule part over here, then in that case, you can see that there is an option of schedule, schedule on or off. And then you have to choose the frequency of the schedule. It can be hourly, daily, weekly, by minute. So let's say I choose weekly. Now in that case, I need to select on which days of the week I want to run it. Now after that, at what time I want to run it, you can go ahead and schedule it any, at any particular time. And if you want to schedule it at multiple time, right? With weekly, you want to schedule it at different time. You can do that. So let's say I want to schedule at these two times, right? And then you can also mention the dates, right? When you want to start the process so let's say i want to start from so and i want to end until this date so from this to this date i want to run it on a weekly schedule right and what is the time zone right that also you have to provide over here which time zone you are uh, you want your notebooks to run and similarly if you want to do it hourly for example right so every let's say you can say every five hours i want to run this is my start time right and you can mention some end, end time as well i'm just giving a random time over here and here you go so hourly you can run every five hours now similarly if you want to run it daily right daily how many times you want to run at what particular time you want to run you can add that start date end that end date everything 
right you can put that part let me uh, say by minute now now when i say by minute you can say every five minutes so like this you can actually schedule your job to run so let's say i want to schedule it hourly i want to say every five hours and i can simply click on apply now the moment i do that you can see the next refresh in 23 hours and 58 minutes so it is on schedule and i can go and off the schedule as well and i can simply apply it so this is one way of scheduling the notebooks as well in your uh, in your fabric workspace so i hope you like this particular video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel and keep watching and keep learning thank you so much for being till here